Hello and welcome to this video where I'll be showing how to design an intake for a Formula SAE race car using ANSYS Discovery. So what we're going to be simulating here is the intake system for that Formula SAE car. We've got the inlet over here, the air is coming in there, going through a restrictor that's a 20 millimeter diameter and then going through some other geometry into four outlets to the cylinders for the car. Now, one of the nice things about ANSYS Discovery is that it lets you get feedback on the design from simulation from a very early stage. So you can start simulating and getting feedback on your design as soon as you have enough CAD built to apply your boundary conditions. And I'll show that in Discovery here. All right, so here we have the discovery interface. You can see I've already created the inlet with the restrictor and the outlets to the cylinders. I haven't created anything to connect them though. So let's do that first. I'm gonna go ahead and start with just a simple box. So I'll pick the rectangle tool, click the sketch plane, hit the V key to go normal to that, and then I'll just sketch out a box. Then I'll use the pull tool to extrude it. So click that surface, both directions, pull that up. If I want a specific dimension, I can hit spacebar and type it in. And you can see, didn't quite create a symmetric box. Let's, let's fix that with the move tool. I'll pick this surface, click the direction, and then use the measure or the ruler option. Click that pipe and I can say okay 35 millimeters to the center of that pipe and we'll do the same thing on the other side okay so now that my inlet is connected to my outlets I have enough geometry to start simulating start getting feedback on my design so I'll go ahead and escape to get out of the move tool I'm going to click this surface and open up the halo which has a variety of shortcuts to common tools. So simulation type tools in this section, geometry editing tools here, and selection tools here. So I'll go to the simulation tools to CFD and click the flow condition. I've got an inlet. I wanna specify a mass flow rate and that's gonna be 0 0.02 kilograms per second. So I've got my inlet there. I can click my other surface and set that as an outlet. And I'm gonna specify the gauge pressure there as zero Pascal. I'll go ahead and pick both of these, make the outer two one outlet, with the checkbox, and then I'll make the inner two a separate outlet. Now the reason I'm splitting these up is so that I can measure the flow rate through them. So if I have them all as one boundary condition, I'm gonna be able to get one flow measurement. If I have them as separate, I can get the flow through these two surfaces and the center two surfaces. I'm gonna to wanna to do that later to make sure that things are even. Okay, so we have the boundary conditions set up. The last thing I need to do is change the material. Right now I have my default set to water. I'm gonna double click that and switch that to air. Then I can go ahead and hit solve. All right, so now you can see the solution calculating here. Since we're in explore mode, this is using the real-time GPU-based solver, and we can see the solution evolve as it's being calculated. So just starting to look at this, I can see I'm getting very little flow through my outer two pipes here. So let's try and change that first thing that comes to mind is maybe a box isn't such a good geometry. Maybe I want to make this more of a triangle. So let's go to the pull tool. I'm going to select these edges and use the pivot edge option. Pick this direction and I can pivot that edge downward. We're going to make the geometry a little more triangular there. Then I'll hit escape and we can see as soon as I let go of the mouse, it's starting to solve again, and we can see the solution progressing here. So this lets you get feedback in real time as you're designing the part. You don't even have to have the design or a concept of the design totally finished. 
So we can still see looking like not that much flow through these outer two. In the next part of this video, I'm going to be looking at more quantitatively, you know, how much flow is coming out the middle two cylinders and the outer two. And also how to use the high fidelity refine mode solver, which uses the flagship fluent solver under the hood. Thanks for tuning into this video, and I hope to see you in part two.